All right, we're getting back on the spike now. So I'm gonna put a put it back together. So I got the retainer plate all fixed here yesterday. So let's wipe this off. Put the cover back on there. Make sure you throw out the throw out bearing in there too. Don't forget. And I'm gonna put a new gasket in there and call it done. I think I need a new one. I don't know why they put all the silicone on everything. Probably because I thought they had to. So I'm going to use this new uh, format style gasket, but you don't need any uh, sealer on it. That should seal it up. Assuming the bolt pattern matches. Yeah, it looks like it might be the same one. Good. Alright, so it's going to towel it off with a rag and put it back together. Except for the exhaust, this one easy on this side. That's a big except though. The exhaust sucks. Sealer they got, I don't know what everything is. A bunch of goop. all full of red silicone over here. Stupid junk. If you can see it, but it's all in the holes in here. screwdriver and push it through. Dingleberries hanging in there. Junk. Yeah, it's supposed to have red silicone on the end of your push rod bearing here. Pretty sure that's not factory issue location for your silicone. Yeah. Probably not stock. That blue stuff is not grease, it's more junko, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but it's something thick. Some kind of liquid snot. Stuff you don't need. Silicones on everything. Blue junk there, whatever that is. Don't know what it is. Doesn't belong in the bolt, so I know.
damn extension in here somewhere. gasket so we got a cut out here for some reason nothing on this side cover has a little bit of a cutout right here I don't know if you can see it so that's where the cutout for the gas is going to go okay throw our bearings in there Try to get all the bolts in there started before you come on there. So we got two different lengths here. Two short ones and two longer ones. Put it to guess. This one goes down here. Longer one on the bottom. Once they're all started, you can start pulling them down. over okay. well, looks pretty good. So, all this exhaust stuff, we're going to have to make up new hardware. <clears throat> I'm going to have to fabricate up a new bracket for this. Welding this when it's all cracked all the way across the whole surface is not a good plan. It usually just re breaks. It's easier just to make it out of a new piece and start over. I'm definitely not going to use these bolts here. I'm going to do something different. So, it's going to take some time to make the exhaust stuff work. So we get back to that. I'm going to work on the other side now. Not the clutch is all lined up over there. You can see how close it is. So I'm going to start by putting stock parts in there, hopefully. Okay. 
Probably should put some oil in there and wait to see if it leaks. We don't have that option yet. Best not to forget to put oil in training. I'm going to use some V Twin Maxima primary lube, chain case lube. So this one's a gear and chain case. That'd be called Sportster oil. Ah, there it is, Sportster right there. So the transmission on five speeds are 24 ounces dry and 20 wet. So right now it's wet. I don't think it's completely drained either. So we're gonna probably put about 18 ounces would be my guess. Good starting point. Yeah, 18's right there. Good. It's a good amount. Yeah, yeah, with a couple more. I forget which line I was on. I lost track. They got so many different ones on here. Let's see. Yeah, whatever. Get confused. Too many lines. Let's see what we got. We got. There it is over here. 14 ounces. This is ounce. So we'll put it up to 18. At least closer to 18. Alright, that should be close. We'll pour this in there. See where my funnel went too. There it is. We'll check the fluid level out to get close to the bottom because I don't know how much oil is in the tranny right now. So I didn't drain the tranny, I just took it apart. Alright, we'll leave about that much left over just in case. level is. And that is full. Nice and full. Well, it looks like it's way down here, the way here, though. So it looks like the oil level is way up here, which means we're overfilled a little bit. I'm worried about that. Better be a little overfilled, it not enough. So I kept uh, it's a good four ounces extra in there at least, if not more. Yeah, touch something dirty. Okay, we'll put the rest of this back in the container. Don't lose it. We'll be back.